we are here today to celebrate the contribution educators are making to the life of offenders or inmates as it may because we are rendering support services to the remand detainees upon their um, incarceration when they are on remand if they register need to write examinations whether it's UNISA examinations or grade 12 examinations, we administer the examinations. And to offenders, we want to celebrate the contribution that they make to the rehabilitation of the offender while inside and while outside. We are pleased to be part of this moment of occasions to recognize the fruit of the partnership between DCS and UNISA. Before sentencing, I had just completed my BA in psychology. And on arrival at the Westfield Correctional Centre, after the usual documentation and, and initial assessment, I was made aware of the UNISA Learning Centre. And this news added bright colours to my rather dark tapestry. Although I was accommodated in the hospital section, the time available at the UNISA Learning Centre was somewhat limited. At Westfield Correctional Centre, offenders are counted and secured in their cells daily at 14.30, and cells are unlocked the following morning at 6.30, unless there are delays. No laptops were allowed in the cells, and as an honest student, I utilized the services of the UNISA library for their books that I needed for my research and studies. I completed my BA honors in psychology wearing a tailor modified but compliant correctional services uniform. I was always, I will always be highly grateful for the educational opportunities afforded me during my time at Westville. Um, and here I include both UNISA for in, in implementing the relationship with the Department of Correctional Services and the concept um, of, of the Learning Hub and DCS for their commitment to meeting the educational needs of offenders. This event was an eye-opening. This is my first time attending such an event. I've learned a lot, especially from the speakers that spoke today. Yes, of course, we are having challenges as, as educationists, but because of the passion we have for the work that we have chosen, it makes life easier. But the event was a really eye-opening because we have learned a lot. The speakers, they were excellent, they were brilliant. We have learned a lot. The positive relationship between the DCS and us, but the DCS for us are individuals. It's that one individual, it's that educator at a specific correctional center, it's that social worker, we, we don't know them. They hear of us, they reach out, and we start building a new relationship. And I think that's a beautiful bottom-up uh, impact. As the University of South Africa, we are really proud to see how you are changing lives. And education is one form of rehabilitation. So I strongly feel that this celebration was rightly timed and it is appropriate to say to the educators out there across uh, the, 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 the landscape of South Africa and correctional centers, you are doing a good job and continue to do so. So as you need, sir, just for these three hours, we really feel that your impact in changing lives from, um, let me say, the lower grades in the correctional center up to tertiary level, no one can celebrate you other than us, the University of the Land. So, and it coincided with the 150 years celebration of UNISA. So we felt that DCS must be part of the 150 years of UNISA changing lives and making a difference. 
and uh, one of our slogan is defining tomorrow so the department of correctional services is defining tomorrow of the offenders because they are preparing them for a life outside as soon as they finish they must be able to be reintegrated in society they must be relevant they must be equipped educationally they must be equipped with the skills and they must be able to feed their families so what you are doing is a great job i can say the celebration of educators is long overdue <laughs>